Hey guys, welcome to KM Reviews. I am Nettleman. Today we are going over the Roads of Fortune expansion for Foundations of Rome. The expansion has come out. I do an unboxing here for you. I do a reboxing for you with and without sleeves. I will give you a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, no one is fitting this thing with sleeved cards. Okay, it's not happening. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we have the shipping box here. I'm trying to keep my address out of the video here. So I have literally not even cut this open yet. So the Foundations of Rome unboxing. So what do we have here? Looks like it's upside down and some bubble wrap. I also got the stacking markers, which came in here. And we have the Roads of Fortune box. So, I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, got some more stacking markers. So there's actually two bags of these. I'm not sure why there's two, but cool. And that's that. Let's move this out of the way. Okay. So first let's take a look at the actual box since that's probably what you're here for. The Roads of Fortune. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this plastic. Okay, and again, after I open this and take a look at everything, we are going to compare it to the current insert as well as um, if it holds sleeved cards and all that sort of stuff. So, come on. Boom. Okay, so it looks like it basically comes in the insert that is gonna be replacing the one from the base game. In case you wanna see the back of the box, kinda shows you what's in there. You can pause it and read that if you'd like. Okay, so we have this clear lid, which has the foundations of Rome kind of embossed on there, which is cool. We have our expansion rule book. Looks like we got some gameplay overview, some gameplay examples for the different boards, the alternate monument cards, the ex explanation of population tokens and these alternate rewards, the garden of series setup. I believe that's if you're Doing it single player, I never really do that though. And we got that rule book. Okay, then we ha looks like we have some more of these um, population markers, which is part of this expansion, as well as a whole bunch of these, just like the base game used for trading and stealing and stuff. Then it looks like we have one of these player aids, which from what I read online, there's supposed to be uh, five of these. Everyone's only getting one, but uh, they are aware that we only got one, so they're gonna be sending out four more to everybody, but this is basically um, just explaining what all of the updated cards do. So people can reference those easier. Oops. This part I'm really looking forward to. I'm hoping this bent part of the sticker doesn't jack it up too much because it looks like this one's kind of jacked up a little bit. Um, but these are the stickers that are going to go into the monuments to kind of help us uh, make sure we put that together properly and we don't have that thing where the lid never works. Okay, um, now we have some of these boards here. I'll let you pause this if you want to read what these do. There's one. There's two. And it tells you in the bottom right here um, if you have to use it with a particular expansion. So like these are both monuments. Ah. This one's if you're using the population tokens, population tokens, etc. 
the invocations, which I think is if you're doing a single player. A little silica gel packet. Um, let me see here. I've got a whole bunch of these boards, which is nice. Okay, again, I'm not going to read all these. You can pause them if you'd like. Got that one. Got this one. Got this one. Got this one. Trading and stealing. Now, one thing I will say is, considering how little is in this, I mean, ultimately it's some cardboard, some cards, rule book and stuff. I cannot believe how long this thing took. It's ridiculous to me. Um, I've had entire other games backed, made from scratch, and shipped before this expansion. With that said, I'm really happy we got this. It looks like it's really good quality. These, feels very, these feel very sturdy. They're not like flimsy cardboard. They feel very thick, which is nice. I'll go over these cards in a second. Um, looks like we have this kind of plastic thing for these. Everyone has their, you know, unique sculpts. With the like flaming thing and like the purple little head guy, which is cool. And we got the yellow eagle thing which all match up to the base game. And then it looks like these go in here to kind of hold them down. It feels like that snaps in pretty snug, actually. So those aren't going to be going anywhere, which is good. Okay, we got all our boards, which are going to go up here. All right, so let's look at these cards. Let me open these really quick. Okay, so let's look at these cards. We have a new one of these, and again, you can pause if you want to read what they say. We have a new objective card, the proprietor, proprietor, most size one and two buildings. We have a new player role, the entitled. Then we have all of our new uh, monument cards. Again, you can pause these. I'll just kind of go through them. The Forum Romanum, it's a civic building, the Imperial Harbor, the Lighthouse, Regia, the Royal Winery, Statue of Romulus, Temple of Apollo, Temple of Jupiter, Temple of Mars, Temple of Minerva, Temple of Neptune, Temple of Venus, Temple of Vulcan, the Colosseum, the Pantheon, the Tower of Wonders, the Triumphal Arch, and the Watchtower. So that's all the alternate monuments. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing this little symbol there represents that these are the alternate ones. Okay, then we have the errata pack, these are replacing cards in the older version of the game. They don't have any special markings. Um, basically, they just want you to throw away the old ones. Um, they got new player aid cards. I'm not sure what's different on these though, because I think they're the same thing. Maybe there was a typo or something. I don't know, got new player aids though, cool. Uh, looks like we've updated these particular player roles, the innovator, the efficient, and the greedy. And this divination card, okay? And that's everything in the expansion. So, let me show you what it looks like organized. One of the first things I want to point out is the monuments. So, I haven't put the stickers on yet, but when we look at this, the nice thing is they laid this out um, as it already is, already oriented the way they need to be. Like this one, look, I had this one in there wrong. Probably explains why this lid wasn't going on there properly last time. 
I always have a shoe. Oh, yeah, look at that. Anyways, um, so this will help you orient it when you put them in the board. So let's look at what it looks like without those stickers. So this is without the stickers. Now with the stickers. Okay, so I will say the stickers are so nice. I wish they came out with this. I don't know why they couldn't have just sent us this a long ass time ago. It really helps you know which buildings go where because in the past, you know, these three are all kind of the same size. You might end up fiddling with that tray forever, but now you know where it goes. Okay, um, the stickers sit on there just fine with everything. Um, you know, my only kind of somewhat issue with it is that some of the stickers are a different orientation than they are on the thing. So like the picture is correct, but the token orientation is like upside down or something. They're not all like that. You know, for example, this one is correct, but not all of them are correct. So like some of the stickers, I actually switched, the, switched it around just to match, just because my brain, if the four was the other way, I'd want to put it in like this, but it needs to go in like this. So the picture is actually backwards, but the four is correct now. So little things like that. But overall, I really do love these stickers. It really does help organize it. It makes it so it's not such a pain. And yeah, um, I will say one thing I am not happy about with this campaign. See, there's another one that's backwards from the thing is the fact that I've backed other games that literally were built from scratch and shipped out and done in like half the time this expansion took. I'm not sure why this thing took so long, but um, I don't know, I'm glad it's here now. I wish it came out a little bit faster though. But as you can see, I was able to put all of those in there and boom, fits on there perfectly. No issues, so thumbs up to the stickers. Okay, next let's talk about these stackable scoring markers. Compared to the ones that originally came with it, you can see the new ones are a little bit bigger. The original ones were a little bit more shiny, whereas the new ones are a bit more opaque, okay? Now on the board, um, the way it used to be, as things stacked, you had to kind of balance them, but it was very easy to knock off, especially if you had, you know, just using the same colors in the example, but if for some reason you had four on top of each other, yeah, good luck, right? Now with these new ones, the nice thing is that because of their shape, they're actually designed to stack. So if you ever get people on top of each other, you can literally get all five on here pretty safely. Now that doesn't usually happen, and you probably can't see that very well, but you know, these things stack pretty well. You know, you can knock it over, but I will say, you can definitely tell as you're holding it, it is a million times more stable, so I'll probably be tossing these ones. Those ones are definitely staying. All right, now this is my current Roads of Fortune box and how messy it usually ends up being, being sideways, okay? We take everything off. I have a bunch of this stuff kind of mixed up baggies. The coins always end up all over the place, which is no fun for anyone. Let's take those out. These are apparently in a sleeve. I usually rubber band these cards together because honestly, they usually end up all over the place. Currently, though, the current, um, oh, what a terrible system here with the old box. Now, I will say it did fit all my sleeved cards, though. Now, when they came out with this new expansion and said all this new stuff you're getting and it's all supposed to fit, I'm like, that is a pipe dream, especially with sleeved cards. I don't know how you're supposed to have all that and all of this. In the same size thing but um, 
let's see how it goes. I'm gonna switch this stuff over and show you how it fits. Okay, so to be very clear, I have everything in here now from the base game and the expansion, and it's all sleeved, and there's no way this thing even comes close to being able to fit everything sleeved. There's an entire stack, <coughs> an entire stack here that doesn't even fit. And to be honest, it's kind of disappointing about these particular tokens here that basically just have to go on top of the cards. This, I mean, I base I packed this up the way they did in the um, on the Kickstarter page. Yet there's all there's all this empty space here. That's like it looks like this should fit in there, or all of this should fit in here, but it's just slightly too small. So you can kind of put it at an angle, but then it sticks up from here. It's like, what, what are you guys thinking? If they would have just made this literally like a millimeter bigger, this could have all fit in there perfectly fine, which is a bit frustrating. Now, over here, ah, we have the series cards. And it's only kind of a short well because there's all these tokens here that normally go in this bag. But if they had just made that a full well and made this fit over here, you probably could have just kept those in the bag. And I don't know. I'm a little disappointed that this doesn't fit sleeved cards is essentially what I'm saying. Um, but let me show you what it looks like with no sleeved cards. Okay, so without the game being sleeved, it's actually much more organized. It actually fits. There's actually a lot of extra room somehow. This is with everything. Okay, we have the... Garden of Series bag here, along with all those like extra little token things. We have right here, all of the cards to three, four, and five players. All of those fit in this one well right here, which is nice. Over here, I have the player aids, as well as all of these cards you can choose to add in if you do that module. Right here, we have the um, series cards, which I don't really use. We have all those little tokens that go in the bag there. Underneath this though, I have um, the Will of the Council card or whatever it's called, along with some of these bigger tokens. In the Kickstarter video, he shows them on here, but I just prefer putting them out here underneath some stuff because I don't really play with this Anyways, we have our first player marker and our threes and ones. And yes, that is all of them. And then over here, we have our monuments, the new and the old. You can actually kind of see the subtle difference in color. So the new ones also have this little thing at the bottom, whereas the old ones don't have that. So they are pretty English, easily uh, distinguished amongst each other, along with the objectives and the player roles. The player roles I rarely use, that's why I put them at the bottom. Objective is, and uh, I tend to do public objectives and monuments every single time. Um, but yeah, that's all that stuff. Then again, right here, we have the markers for the roads of fortune. We have all of our boards and then underneath the boards we have our uh, victory point markers and our population markers and that is all that stuff so that all does actually fit pretty well in the old insert I definitely did not have the series stuff in there or the boards or this so they did a pretty good job overall organizing it again I think it could have been a little more efficient. Um, I'm okay not sleeving this stuff though. I went through a big sleeving phase at one point and I'm kind of over that now. So next up we have our rule books, which will go right there. And then we have our board, which will go on top of those. Ah, bumped my camera. And then we have the, uh, deed board which will go on top of that then i'm going to put the series rule book and the player aid 
which we'll hopefully get more player aids of those soon. And then the victory point marker on top. And then we have our Foundations of Rome thing that goes right on top there, which holds it all good. And then let's see, let's put this box right here. Now I do hear stuff shuffling around. I'm going to open it back up here in a second to see how well it... Oh, come on. Son of a bitch. There we go. So that all does fit in there good. Along with all the player trays, the monuments, which you already saw the stickers on, that all is good. So I showed you how this usually looks when I open it up. Coins everywhere, all that sort of stuff. So let's see in the game now, if I were to pull this out, and I'm not trying to be like extra gentle or anything. Okay, we got this. All this stuff comes off. Seems like a little monument card shuffle, but other than that, coins are all there. Now they're not all over the place. Seems like it held together pretty well. So overall, I do have to give this expansion a thumbs up, minus the fact that it took freaking forever. Um, kind of sucks that the monument uh, stickers are not all oriented properly, but it still really helps. And I really like the new insert a ton. I really like those stackable markers. Again, I just have an extra bag. That's why I have these. I'll probably give them to somebody, but that is that. Okay, so that was the Roads of Fortune expansion. I no longer need that box. Now, uh, one thing I will say is that as I was kind of putting it away, that black plastic that makes up the tray, it does feel a bit thin. So you wanna be a little careful because if you're like holding it with one hand, it's so heavy that thing's gonna like collapse or the little trays underneath like your fingers will kind of like bend the little uh, sockets or whatever up. Um, I kind of noticed that I kind of fixed it, but you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful with this one um, as you put it in there and kind of push it in. There's definitely gonna be some wear and tear with this uh, new insert, I think. But overall, I like it. I would love to know what you all think in those comments below, please like and subscribe sorry about the terrible lighting and the bumpiness but it is what it is all right see you later